Welcome back. It's grand final time on It's Academic and today is round two. All three of these schools have performed outstandingly so far and in this episode they inch one step closer to claiming the title. Join us for the ride. Welcome everyone, a lovely start to the week yesterday on this topsy-turvy grand final ride between the three schools. Green team, Hurstville Club Public School, please welcome today, we have got Nina, Tim is the team captain, and Jessica. Red school, Calair Public School, please welcome William. Mitchell is the team captain, and Ben. And finally, Purple, Kasula Public School. Chantel, Sajid is the team captain, and Harley. Great start to the week yesterday. All deserving of their places in the grand final indeed. Hurstville got the chocolates. Who will win today? We'll find out very shortly. On the program today, we are hitting the dance floor again with our good mate Mark, who is talking us through waltz. Sal is reporting on an exciting rediscovery. That looks like a beautiful plant. And for our inbox, we are heading to Rapid Bay Primary School in South Australia, which looks like such a lovely spot to just be hanging out fishing, catching some King George Whiting. Oh, Nina, Tim, Jessica, Hurstville got the gong yesterday. Let's see what happens today. Good luck, question one, round one. Typically, around how long is the world's tiniest serpent, the thread snake of Barbados? A, 10 centimetres, or B, 20 centimetres? 10 centimetres. 10 is correct, Tim, good start. How many O's in the word metropolitan? One. Two in metropolitan, there are Nina. Which of the following countries borders the Caribbean Sea? Haiti or Chile? Um. Haiti. Haiti is correct. What is 60 times 60? 360. 3,600 it is, Jess. Horatio and Ophelia are characters from which play by William Shakespeare? A, Romeo and Juliet, or B, Hamlet? Hamlet. Hamlet, Hamlet is correct. First one, 130 points. Round one is done for green. As we turn to red, Calaire, and that is William, Mitchell and Ben. Round one questions for you. Which mammal has the longest tongue relative to A, a species of bat found in Ecuador, or B, a species of African elephant shrew? A. It is indeed a species of bat found in Ecuador. A tongue one and a half times the length of its body at full stretch. That's a big tongue. How many E's in the word treacherous? Two. Two. Correct. Which of the following countries borders the Caribbean Sea? Peru or Jamaica? Jamaica. Jamaica. Is correct. What is 80 times 70? 5,600. Cassio and Iago are characters from which play by William Shakespeare? A, Macbeth or B, Othello? Othello. Is correct. Good round from the boys. 140 points. Claire. They have the lead. They also have a random spotlight question now. Which goes to Ben on the end? Whose special topic is the Rangers Apprentice series books one to three by John Flanagan? Question. Beginning with C, what is the name of the deserted neighbouring country that Will and Horace travel to in the second novel? Cel Celtica. Celtica is correct. Good work there, Ben. 160 for Calaire. Solid round. Round one. Chantel, Sajid and Harley. Kasula now. Good luck. Purple. Which insect is the world's strongest relative to body size? A. The female elephant beetle. B. The male dung beetle. Um, B. Is correct. It can lift over a thousand times its own body weight. 
how many eyes in the word responsibility? Three. Three is correct, Harley. Well done. Which of the following countries borders the Caribbean Sea? Cuba or Bolivia? Cuba. Cuba is correct. Three for three so far. What is 90 times 90? 8,100. 8,100. If you get this one right, I'll give you a clean sweep question. Snug and Bottom are characters from which play by William Shakespeare? A, As You Like It, or B, A Midsummer Night's Dream? B. B. B is correct, A Midsummer Night's Dream for the first time in the grand final. Does Shula get a look at a clean sweep question? Which is this one? Rearrange the letters in the word remain to get another word for aquatic. Marine. Marine, Chantel, well done. Wow, that could be very handy. Taking Kasula to 170 points and into the lead. Now, for our little remote school this week, as promised, we're heading to South Australia. Rapid Bay, a little town on the coast of South Australia's Fleuria Peninsula, about 100 k south of Adelaide. Now, in 1950, the school was opened for the kids of the mine workers in the town. All the mine is now virtually closed. 43 students bus in from around the area. Looks good. The jetty at Rapid Bay, a favourite spot for fishing. On the main road, there is a heritage-listed irrigation channel constructed in 1851. The southern Florio Peninsula is a habitat for the endangered leafy sea dragon. The kids take part in the Leafy Sea Dragon Festival every second year. Love these little stories. The question from Rapid Bay Primary is, which large island is south of the Florio Peninsula in South Australia? A, King Island, B, Kangaroo Island, or C, Rottnest Island? Ooh, 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 teacher, teacher, I know the answer, I know the answer. We'll give it to you right after the break. Practically a hugathon on Deal or No Deal. Yeah. This is why. Deal or No Deal, weekdays. Disney Fairies. Ever wonder if fairy wings really glow? New Magic Glow Tink and her fairy friends are coloring the sky with their light up shimmery wings. With one touch, the magic glow begins. Their wings really light up in three different ways fluttery, rainbow gleam, color glow. When fairy friends take flight, their wings always shine bright. You can discover magical light-up surprises with Magic Glow Tink and her pixie pals. You can collect them all. Disney Fairies Magic Glow Dolls, new from Jax, each sold separately. Barbie, I can be anything I want to I want to be a pizza chef. Barbie takes the order, spins the dough. Spins the dough. Pizza's in the oven, ready to go. <laughs> or maybe a kitty care vet. The heart beats and the x-rays all say. Play sets and dolls, each sold separately. More fun online. What do you get when you mash up a Razor scooter and ripstick? The all-new Siege Caster Scooter from Razor. The Razor Siege can drift through turns or even do grinds. The all-new Siege Caster Scooter from Razor. Kate, watch this. Be careful, Pete. Whoa! Oh, no! Can you help me help Pete? Go to triple zero dot gov dot au and follow the links to the triple zero kids challenge. Together we can learn how to get help in an emergency and what to do if you see an accident or a fire. We can play games, solve mysteries, hate my leg, and help Pete. See you online. Child safety. It's no accident. Driveways are not playgrounds. Know where young children are at all times, especially when reversing. Farm equipment is for work, not for play. Kids Safe, a prime community service partner. So many wonderful little spots around the country I want to get to, including this one, Rapid Bay Primary School. Their question... Which large island is south of the Florio Peninsula in South Australia? A. King Island, B. Kangaroo Island, or C. Rottnest Island? The answer, of course, it is B. Kangaroo Island. 
place I have never been. But look at that coastline. How beautiful is that? Thank you very much indeed, kids. Rapid Bay Primary. You're on the map now. <laughs> Calaire, 160, as we go into round two red. If someone makes a facetious remark, is he or she A, trying to be serious, or B, trying to be amusing? A, R, B. A? B, trying to be amusing, facetious. What is 136 plus 57? 193. 193 is correct. Well done. For how long has Buckingham Palace been the official London residence of Britain's sovereigns? A, since 1066, or B, since 1837? A. B, since 1837. Spell multicultural, as in they attended the multicultural festival. M-U-L-T-I-C... L... Start again. Start again, please. Of course. M-U-L-T-I-C-U-L-T-U-R-A-L. Multicultural. That is correct, Mitchell. Well done. In total, how many odd numbers between 66 and 76? Five. Five is correct. Good finish to the round, Claire. 190 points. Brings on a random spotlight now for Kasula. For purple. Harley on the end. Your special topic, World War II, Pearl Harbor, the early stages of the, of the battle. Question. Beginning with H, the attacks on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941, occurred in which US state? Hawaii. Hawaii, of course, it was. Bringing the US into the conflict. 190 points, Kasula going well. If a maths problem is inscrutable, is it A, easily solved, or B, too difficult to work out? B. That is correct. What is 159 plus 24? 183. Is correct. In total, how many rooms make up Buckingham Palace? A, 775, or B, 2,000? A. A is correct, 775. Boy, you could sleep in a different room every night for a couple of years. More. Spell unexpected, as in an unexpected guest arrived for dinner. Unexpected. U-N-E-X-E. -E. Wait, stop. Start again. Um, start again. Of course. Um, U-N-E-X... Uh, P-E-C-T-E-D. Unexpected. Yes, that is correct. Well done. In total, how many odd numbers between 44 and 52? Four. There are four, Chantel. They are on fire. 240 points. Kasula have not missed one yet. Nina, Tim, Jess, Hurstville. Round two. If you ask a pertinent question, is it A, relevant, or B, irrelevant? Irrelevant. It is relevant. It is A, Tim. What is 203 plus 79? 282. Is correct, Jessica. King George III bought Buckingham House, later called Buckingham Palace, for his wife Charlotte in what year? A, 1761, or B, 1720? 1761. 1761's correct. Darling, I'd love to buy you that lovely place down the end of Pall Mall. Spell congratulated, as in the school principal congratulated the winners. C-O-N-G-R-A-T-U-L-A-T-E-D. Congratulated. Congratulations, Nina, you've got it right. In total, how many odd numbers between 96 and 100 and... Three. Three is correct. First fill, 170. Still with their random to come. Beat the buzzer. Lead with Kasula currently. Good luck, everyone. Clock starts now. What is 65 minus 13? Kalea. 35. 52. True or false, the inner core of the earth is made from magnesium. True, true. False and silicon. It's iron and nickel. Does a typical beehive have one or 100 queen? Kalea. One. One queen bee. Entertainment Arena Madison Square Garden is in which US city? Kazula. Oh, New York. New York is correct. What is 85 plus 12? Hurstville. 97. Correct. True or false? The study of ancient Egypt is called Egyptology. Kalea. True. True. True it is. 
Which word is an antonym for boost? Is it decrease? Kalea? Decrease. Outside the buzzer, doesn't matter, decrease or increase. De